one time I said I was math retarded because it's true. And there's right. like, you, you can't say that. And I'm like, well, if you look at the definition of re- what retarded is, it's slow. That's yeah. me. I'm not calling yeah. myself a Down syndrome person. Well, I'm they're- saying <laughs> that I'm right. slow and it's a real thing. Well, God. There, is, there, there is. And also it could be like flame retardant. Yeah, what are we supposed to say? Flame what? Well, flame retardant. So I'm guessing flame special needs. It's just okay. So it's a different context of I using understand. the word, but it's kind of got the same meaning, right? It's something that slows, the slow, flames. and stops the. Yes, fine. I'm math retardant. <laughs> okay, that's good. Fine. All right, ready? Yeah. Okay. That was a show in and of itself. <laughs> and scene. <laughs> yeah, I like my Starbucks. So cute. Monica got this from when she went to Maui. I love it. Your neighbor left. Thank God. Her oh, her friend left. Whoever. With their giant SUV that's hanging out in the middle of the road. Welcome to The Ugly Truth. This is episode 601. Ugh. Uh-huh. Yes. Yeah, here we are. <laughs> talking away already. You know, we're just blah, 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 blah. <sighs> um, One of those days. So we are recording Happy Lunar New Year. Oh. It's the year of the rabbit. Oh. Uh, apparently it's the water rabbit. I don't know what that means, but it does mean something. Anyway, so if you observe Happy Lunar New Year today. Okay, I do not know how it came up, but I was going to ask you about this. You were born left-handed. I was? Yes. Are you sure? Positive. You don't even remember? No. Oh my God. Okay, well this that will be- That seems of, impossible. This will be of news are to you. Are you sure it wasn't Allison? 100%. 100% you were I left-handed. I can see her being left-handed. You were left-handed, and I will remember- I remember. Well, my daughter is left-handed. So are you. Well, you were. You're not anymore. How can I not be left-handed if I was born left-handed? Because, and you're going- Prepare yourself. They tie my hand behind my back. They tied your hand to your thigh. Are you sure? A hundred percent sure. You you swear. I swear. You're, it's not a, it's not not a weird making, flashback uh-uh. that you think is real, and it's this not- This is what- Back in the day, because we're old, we're relics, we're Gen Xers. Making my hands feel I'm weird. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I just didn't know. Um, How did I not know this? You were left-handed, and back in the day, it was considered inappropriate. It was like a an, like an abnormality. It was abnormal, and they're like, we can't have this because they didn't even make left-handed scissors and stuff. Not like, until then. later. Later, I now, remember when they did. Me but. too, because in fact, when our kids were in Trajan or when they were in elementary school, I'm like, wait, you have left-handed scissors. I don't understand. This I is almost a forgot concept. that my daughter was left-handed until you brought it up. So anyway, I was telling Daryl, I don't remember what we were talking about, but I, he's not left-handed. I think Brad, his brother's left-handed, okay. if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, we I don't know how it came up, but I said, you know, Stephanie used to be left-handed. He goes, really? I go, yeah. He goes, but she's, I go, but she's not anymore. And I'm not so de- am so de- am- ambidextrous. Yeah. Actually, and I he kind said, of am. You though. are. A little. I bet you are. It still feels awkward to use my left hand, but You're not- probably traumatized. <laughs> Um, but they God, would no hold, wonder I'm such a hot fucking mess. My God. They didn't like abusively hot tie your hand no. down. But what they would do is they'd say. Who's they? Teacher. The school. Oh, okay. So they, and this was at kindergarten level. Oh, okay. And so they're like, no, she has to learn how to write right handed. That's the world is right handed is what they used to say. And so you have to. Not how horrible for me. And here's what's interesting. So they would like, they would like use like, remember that, that school, school yarn that yeah. really, so they would like put that and they would tie it, tie your hand down so that you couldn't use it. Yeah. Cause kids would be like, fuck you. And I'm going to write. Right. And they'd be like, so it was extra hard for you to learn how to write oh, because God. you're learning how to use a hand that you're not comfortable with. It's not with. normal for me. But because they got you so young, it wasn't something that took for very long. But because of that, whenever we go to the movie theater, I always say the world is right-handed and we go left because oh. there's better seats on the left side of a theater. That's probably true. And it's because of when you were learning how to write with your right. Because I, I thought it was absolutely unbelievably unfair that you couldn't write with your hand. I remember I remember it so oh my well. God, why do I not remember? Because you didn't probably didn't care. You probably thought it was cool. Oh, I doubt had. that. And you and no, they, gave I you, was... they gave you special um uh rubber triangles that they would put on your pencil 
so that you would learn how to hold the pencil properly. Oh, I, whoa. I kind of remember that. Yeah. Now that you say that. And I used to use them too. Cause okay. I'm like, I'll use it too. So I would use it too. <laughs> and now they have, um, they don't have them that harsh anymore. Now they're just like these soft smushy so do things. people still try to change their. No. Yeah. I was about to say, no, now no, we just no. accept each other for of what course. we are. <laughs> but back then. God forbid. Like... <laughs> of all the things. Yeah. We'll accept you as any kind of gender, but you will not be writing left-handed for the rest of your <laughs> life. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? That's funny. Um, no, I was. Crazy? I just remember that I was ex- painfully shy. You were like so shy. I know, you know, like you I were, would cry. Um, you hated school. Hated school. I did. Yes. Yeah, because I had to be. I had to talk and like be social. God forbid. I'm still like that. No, you're. Actually, I mean, no, I really have to force right. myself to. We are very. Um, we actually, don't like people. We we're don't a bit like introverted. Yeah, we just yes. we've gotten really good at faking it. I think. I will say this. Um, you know, I play a video game. I've said yeah, this yeah. many times, and oh, I had to. I had to finally. This was a few years ago. Buy a headset that had a microphone in it mm-hmm. because I never wanted to talk mm-hmm. like ever. But sometimes you have to communicate when you're playing with like fifteen other well, people. Half the fun of playing those games is talking, right? <laughs> or listening and typing. <laughs> yeah for you i guess <laughs> which i would prefer so when i started talking i started talking once and we were already doing the podcast and they go they whispered a couple of people whispering they go um are you a dj and i said no why they're like your voice is like perfect for way it. different than i expected oh and i said well i'd like to attribute it to cheerleading because i learned how to talk yes. with my diaphragm which you do as well right so i said i think that's really what it is that's true i said i don't think <laughs> it's not dj no, no I, and I don't go around going, oh, well, I have a podcast. <laughs> no, and you know what? I've I've had to do, well, now that I do it at work, like yeah. I, I facilitate meetings and I yeah, do you're things like, that I never thought. Ladies and gentlemen. I have to. Yes. Yeah, so I can't, I don't want to sound like a total idiot. No, you have to. <clears throat> that's it's the, just practice, really. Daryl and I were talking about this, how I will listen to our show and we get really into a, a thing and we're like laughing a lot and talking kind of fast. I think I sound like a chicken and I hate it. <laughs> I hate it so much. So much. I'm, he'll be editing. I'll go. Bark, 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 bark. And he's like, stop it. You don't sound like a chicken. I'm like, I do sound like a chicken. <laughs> you don't sound like a chicken. I listen no. to the show all the time. I call I it quality control. And well, I, so far, that's so the reason good. why, cause I already know what's in the show, obviously, right. but I want to listen I want to see what it sounds like to see, you know, of course. It's one thing when you're living in the moment I and you're doing the show. It's another yeah. thing when you actually go back and listen to it. Daryl so. is an amazing editor. No, he is. And producer. But I mean, you can't edit what we, well, you can edit what we say, but. I know what you're you saying. You know what I mean? I know like, what you mean. we sound like what we sound like. We do. And he can't change that. No. He, we don't, we're not and one of those shows wouldn't... that changes our pitch and tone and stuff, do we? <laughs> no. And do other wouldn't... people? No, no, no. You know, no, like no. they do for singers, they make it. Oh. Like JLo. Total flip on subject material regarding j-lo actually because yeah, i, I was going to mention that and also jessica simpson too oh. so you and i are big on the tiktok right yeah so there was a trend going on now i'm a huge fan of jessica simpson i haven't read her book yet but i've heard it's really really good so have I. Yep. and so i'm going to read it but yeah. um so people were posting segments of her singing poorly yeah, I think I, I sent you one. Yeah, there were a couple. I remember seeing them when she was doing it. I remember because I was yeah. such a fan. And then this voice teacher duetted one and she did her and she also did J-Lo. And she said, Jessica Simpson is a victim of people around her back in that time. They wanted her to compete with Christina Aguilera. She couldn't. God forbid. Well, and Britney Spears. And the thing with Britney <clears throat> is. Excuse me nobody has the stage presence that Britney does. You yeah. can't compete with it. And Christine, no one can comp- What? You can't her compete voice is with like, her. Yeah, there's, it's like one of those, you know, like the top five female Ever. voices who have like the best voice. Yeah. Ever. And it's so, not common. It's very uncommon. There's a lot of entertainers who, yeah, who get away with marginal singing or good Sh- singing, but like not Britney yeah. or Madonna. Actually, Britney shucks the hell out of me. She when can I, actually sing. She actually can. She I used can. to didn't, I used to think she was all dance. Me and too, stuff. but she's not. She actually can carry but a she team. Actually she actually can. Played, she was a child on Broadway, for God's sake. Right. I don't know. No one ever talks about that stuff. I know. But anyway, she was saying that she was a victim of the time because... Everybody wanted her to be like these big so iconic the voice coaches singers. and stuff that she had in her life. So they were, were making her sing songs that were really not in her range. Right. When, there's a song that she released, I think it was about a year ago, and it was a remake of a song about addiction. And it is 
I can't stop listening to it. I listen oh. to it all the time. It's her voice. It's quite deep, actually, when uh-huh. she sings correctly. And I've right. heard her sing in her range, and she can belt. Yeah. Really can belt. On one of her very first albums, some of the songs that weren't necessarily radio hits, yes. per se, are oh. some of her best songs on that album. I I agree. 100% yeah. agree. Like the songs that they pushed as, as singles. Yes. Were, yeah. I mean, they they were more of, they were well-written songs and they were catchy. They were poppy. For, right. Yeah. But, but she can not, actually not sing best, quite well. Yeah. Um, and then uh, regarding J-Lo, you know, she's got everybody. First of all, I cannot wait to see her sing Whitney Houston on the Grammys, which is, I think, in March. So in, March. in what way? Because do you think she's going to do do it well? No. Okay. No. I don't either. But I think it's a huge mistake. Colossal. Why would you? Yeah. And, and and she said, oh, well, we're kind of in the same range. I'm like, stop talking. Yeah. J-Lo, stop even. talking. I'm such a fan. Would you please stop? Yeah. No one's perfect, though. But right? so they, they played the raw, raw footage that everybody's heard of her yeah. trying to sing Barbara Streisand, which is another big mistake. Ugh. And it was bad. Barbara has such a unique voice. No one can sing she's like iconic. her. She's like Christina and her voice. Whitney. Yes, and I love it. All the, and Mariah. I mean, she's everybody knows Barbara. You say Barbara, you know who you're talking about. Mm-hmm. So it's this horrible raw footage. And she's like, and then she showed footage of J-Lo singing one of her songs on stage in a room that was meant for vocal, hearing mm-hmm. yourself with a band and the correct acoustics. And it was amazing really good yeah and it was not lip synced it was her singing mm-hmm. it was a raw video of her singing she can't sing she can hold a tune she goes here's the thing she <laughs> is not a born singer right she came into singing late she's new into her singing he did he's the one that talked her into singing right because you know? she can probably carry a tune he told her look because she kept trying to like, like what you were saying about jessica yeah everybody was trying to make her sound a certain way mm-hmm. or be a certain kind of singer and he finally is like look and she was struggling with that and he's like look just sound like you your voice is your voice he's like it is what it is and yeah. if you can accept how you sound and the that that that's it <laughs> yeah and you'll pick pick music and yeah. songs that, that and she's like that your... was the best advice i ever yeah. got after that i was just like you know what fuck it this Dude, is what i sound like i own and it. it's good enough i own every j-lo album right i do i don't i have no shame yeah i thought she was great i, I mean too. because i just like her style i like her and so um i was really like but they Even were saying if you were broke my love don't cut but the thing nothing. yeah but the thing is is that in the rolly bin she's so <laughs> new in her singing that she's right. basically a rookie yeah and so not trying, now but yeah trying to put these expectations on her to be comparing herself to whitney or mariah oh. it's probably not appropriate so this is a mistake well I but jaylo's ego is a little well she intense no one <laughs> No one believes in J-Lo more than J-Lo. Right. And that, that's great. That woman has manifested her entire fucking life. Right. I mean, she is living her best life. I, honestly. Look at her. She's so wealthy. She's <laughs> stunning. She's yeah. powerful, which yes, is really is. the thing. And she's got money and she's got more her man now. Than, yeah. I hope that works out, by the way. I really do. I hope Ben doesn't fuck it uh, up because if anyone does, it's going to be him. Maybe. He'll mess it up. I don't know. She I just, won't. She just... won't grow bored. She's. She likes them. Yeah, I know. So, you know. I don't know, but she has really high standards, too, so. Yeah. I mean, I'm she not does. saying they're unreasonable. I'm just saying they're high. She probably just so. said, dude, you just got to stay sober, man. Yeah. And work. Well, you know, I mean, work. why? He has so much money. Well, he's really good at production. I mean, no, he's he a good is. At producer. He is, he is, or, he is. Yeah, executive producer. I'm just saying, like, I don't know. Directing. For me, if I marry a man who's as wealthy as he is, and I'm wealthy, too, like, working isn't a, a deal breaker to me. It's like, I don't want you to be a sponge and live off me, but if you have your own damn money and you're that rich, True. like, I really can do whatever you what want. You do. Just yeah. don't be fat and lazy. Right. After totally. everything you did to get us together, totally. and now be like, all right, we're done now. You know? Yeah. No. <laughs> well, oh, speaking of, you know how I made that, that sound? <laughs> earlier yeah yeah. okay so i didn't i don't when was this this was new year's eve Uh, there's literally nothing i can do that daryl won't love like literally i mean i know i'll do anything and he'll be like i love it do it again whatever (laughs) i know so So, (laughs) unfair in my life (laughs) so on that note i thought you know what this was new year's eve we had had a little bit to drink oh no and i said like a dance or something did you no okay stephanie no (laughs) Although he would have loved it. I know. So he's asked me to do it. <laughs> so he's like, well, we used to put on shows when we were little. Right. And so young, anyway, know? so we were just, you know, like kissing and making out or whatever. And I, I put, I nuzzled my face into his neck, like under his ear area. Yeah. And I went oh, like God. that. 
He pulled back. I've never seen his face like this in my life. He's all... <gasps> actually to know that there is something seriously and that so, he doesn't find endearing right so like a couple of days later i said i go hey remember that time when i when i snorted in your and neck he goes uh-huh and i go you should have seen your face you really were up you were oh. so unattracted to me for that moment he goes that's not true i'm like come on no it's all right and i go it was bad i go shall i do it again he goes no 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 that's all right <laughs> I remember. <laughs> He's like, no, I remember. You don't need to replay. <laughs> but I think yeah. what it is, I'm going to out him on this, and I don't give God, a this shit. Is funny. He has a big turn off when it comes to women. What fat and, women? No, just women in general. He hates it. Hates it. Like what? It's like penis repellent. He hates seeing women eat in their car when they're driving. Oh. He goes, I don't know what it is. He's like, but when I see a woman inhaling something in her car it's while repulsive. she's driving i want to just i'm so disgusted <laughs> and i said who hurt you I, well no maybe it's just a no hey. it is he hates it and i said i said okay i said it fair fair you know hey we all have our weird thing that we go oh you know whatever some strange I'll thing i'll never forget when paula did it i was even re- re- she ate in the car repulsed. Well, yeah, I mean, I don't, I didn't necessarily, now, just because Daryl has a weirdness about this, I don't necessarily think it's a weird thing. No, I mean, I mean, I think just, it depends on the woman and the way you're eating. He's come, a, he, apparently he's come across this a couple of times when he's been driving, because obviously he used to commute so right, right. often. So he would probably see women eating breakfast or whatever in the car. Oh, I see it all the time. Yeah. I commute too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And so. so he's just like, it's the one thing I just, I don't. It doesn't have to be reasonable for it to no. be a weird thing to him. It's just a Do you huge, know how many weird things are for you and oh I my God. that repulse us that every, somebody else is like, why is that gross? Like, I don't even normal. want to talk about it. Right. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Exactly. So the fact so, that yes. he has one. <laughs> well, no, 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 I'm not, I'm not. No, no, saying, I know you weren't saying, right, right, right. I'm just saying to me, like, yes, it's one thing. But I said, why? Reasonable or not. I go, why? And he goes, I him. don't know. He goes, I just, I go, is it because if they're like, like large women? He goes, no. Like any woman. Any woman. And yeah. I'm like, interesting. I go, so like some hot blonde with big tits could be eating a, a hot dog and it would make you sick. Mm-hmm. And he's like, well, I've never seen that, but I would imagine that I wouldn't like it. And I'm like, that is fascinating to me. Yeah, it is. Yeah. One time Paula and I were in traffic and we were eating. <laughs> I think she was eating primarily and she was driving mm-hmm. and uh, we came up to the stoplight and there was a guy who was like ogling us, you uh, know, in the car next to us. Right. Yeah. Which happened all the time. So, right. <clears throat> and I was like, God, this guy is just like, rid- like hanging out the window, tongue hanging out, you know, drooling, just being that. obnoxious. And Paula is scarfing, you know? Oh. And so I'm like, he doesn't even care that you're sitting here shoving a cheeseburger down your throat. <laughs> and I'm laughing because I'm like, you know, like, ew, you know, look, this guy's like totally ogling us. And so then what does Paula do? She looks over and she gives him this, her wicked little smile. She starts using her finger to suck the ketchup oh, off of it. Yeah, like trying to be as gross. And he's all, eh. and then she starts using her finger to get the crumbs off of her Can giant boot. Oh, no, no, no. And licking them. Like, Why she I mean, doing? she thought it was funny. Oh. She's like, oh, he'll think this is hot. And he probably did. He was laughing. Oh, he thought God. it was hilarious because he's like, oh, I see what you're doing. Now like, you're don't... trying to be as gross as possible. So and he's I... like, and I love everything. And he probably did. It's like, you don't realize that I pay $5 a day Seriously. to watch some woman do this on OnlyFans. You never know. So I'm over <laughs> here, like, just freaking out laughing like you are so disgusting she thought it was hilarious that's so funny okay really quick i am almost done with sister wives i almost can't even with it anymore oh i stopped i haven't even watched it since the last time it doesn't well the the show is irrelevant at this point because it's gone crazy in social media right reddit tiktok facebook Everything. everything so essentially peyton is christine's only son I did see him on 
TikTok. TikTok. Yes. Now he has a TikTok account. And Mikkel T too. Uh, okay. Yeah. And YouTube. I was following him and uh, a couple weeks ago he did an interview with some notoriously horrific guy yeah. who used to be a part of 90 Day Fiance or something. It's yeah, a YouTube um, channel. Apparently he's horrible. He's gay, but he's he's a, a bigot or something. <laughs> okay. I don't know. He's like the, he's a weird thing. And people are saying, oh, you'd be surprised how many gay people hate gay people. I'm like, that doesn't make any sense to me. Right. And I don't really want to get it's into it. It's kind of like Bruce or Caitlyn Jenner. Yes. I mean, she. it's just yeah. strange. It's like, it's fine that I'm gay, but nobody else can be. Exactly. It's a weird, it's just a weird thing. It's almost like they don't see themselves who they are Ah, and they judge other people for being exactly the same way. So anyway, he has some kind of video YouTube podcast or whatever. Yes. And Peyton was willing to have a chat with him about what's been going on since the, the show is on hiatus or they're filming, but it's not, it's, there's no new episodes and he spilled a shit ton of tea three hours worth yeah and essentially says robin never wanted to be polygamous she's lying she's only wanted to be monogamous she's she's itched everyone out cody is madly in love with her and the two of them are happy as clams Mm -hmm. end of story he's like i'm happy my dad found the love of his life because that's exactly what happened it doesn't explain or excuse any of the other shit he did but it's it is what it is right but the things that i wanted to note that i found fascinating and it made me question a few things is payden is currently a bouncer at a strip club oh interesting and he's trying to date strippers and they're telling him get the fuck away from us no yeah well he's ugly for one well and it's you just (laughs) jamie he's ugly most strippers he wasn't on tiktok and and sister wives and and he was just a regular guy they'd be like get the fuck away from me you little troll was well first of all he's like (laughs) i think he's very very tall he probably is but, but so just... with that said, I, I put in my notes that he reminds me of baby huey i know he's just ugly he's a tall duck yeah it's weird look he's built weird he's just not my fave no and he's very pale? just no he's there he's yes, very he he's very pale he's like a bit obnoxious and crass mm-hmm. and yeah just all the things he's like a walking hormone yeah he's just and he's like 23 i think 24 yeah. mm-hmm. so he's young but it made me wonder how sheltered were these children because he's acting like he's 12 i know he's at the beginning of the learning curve of puberty for sure all of them are that's why they're suddenly, all like so happy and yeah and now suddenly he's so like like oh wow naked girls and i well, i want to date them and you know yeah and he talks like He's had no life experiences, he even though he's been in the military. He still talks like he's well, not being in this. You go anything. straight from childhood, like mm-hmm. you know the, his type of childhood, to yeah. the military. You're that the military is still pretty sheltered. It is sheltered because they you're like, right. you, they see and you do what they say what that's they true. want you to. That's true. And that's it. Anyway, so that to me was the big reveal. <laughs> Right. <laughs> like that he works at a strip club i mean how far have we gone there's a strip club in utah that was even more shocking mm-hmm. actually but anyway whenever i look at this family mm-hmm. is that we as viewers who have been using them as entertainment for many many seasons yes. 10 years maybe Long time watch these all these kids grow up we have our opinions on their personalities or whatever they were used yeah by sure. their parents Um, They were interviewed when they didn't want to be, you know, we've watched the breakdown of Cody and his children's relationships. It's gut wrenching to watch. And we watched it. Yeah. And so if these kids want Patreons or pay to listen to me talk or whatever, pay it. Yeah. Because they are owed it. Yeah. In my opinion, if you want to know their take, fucking pay them their money. Right. Listen to their take and be done with it. Yeah. Because they, they are allowed I mean, seriously. And they're all, and the other thing is, is these people were in a fucking cult. Yeah, agreed. And nobody thinks about that because it's so. We're all pretending that it was the premise of the show. It's so far removed from everything, you know, because they're like, no, we're streamlined Americans. I'm like, you are not. No. You are not. And you think like well, culty they wanna, people. Yeah, they still think like culty people, but now Christine they're. She doesn't. No, no, she doesn't. But, but I it mean, took a long time for I her to that I think it took her way. years. But yeah. Even Janelle's like, well, you know, I'm supposed to be married in celestial marriage and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh. shut up, girl. They're over all that now. Get out. Yeah. Now so Janelle, anyway. Now Janelle's doing what everybody else does and she's losing weight and she's Good. pretty pretty. And it's amazing what happens when you get rid of a bad man. I know, right? God, you just glam up. Right, totally. Mary's the only hot mess, really, of <sighs> Mary's my a drunk and I, I, know. I am living for it. Here's the thing. <laughs> I don't give a shit. I'm like, girl, I don't give a shit either. I'm but. Like, you've been living a Quaker's life your whole adult life. You've been punished because you were barren. Drink up. Cheers. I know, right? Drink the White Claws. God forbid. I mean, I'd be like, you know, you're not into drugs yet. Have That's you had fine. a White Claw before? I have. Are they gross? No, they're just. 
remember when we were kids and we were drinking wine coolers from Bartles and James? Of Zima. Zima's. I it's a, Zima. I did too. They were so because they carbonated. were carbonated. They were carbonated and Super they were clear carbonated. and they I were refreshing. Them. They were overly sweet. They weren't. Bartles and James were the sweetest wine coolers damn, on the did planet. I love those fucking things. The strawberry ones. All of them. <sighs> I can't think of the one I didn't like. Those were good. Yeah. Whenever I go to my besties, which isn't that often, she has a cooler full of them. Zima's? Of every, no, not Zima. Oh, uh, White Claws? No. Oh, Bartles and James, they still make them? Yes, absolutely. Actually, they're Seagram's, my bad. I was under the impression that, well, according to my child, who has been drinking for about a year or two, not very long, so she's still in this sugar phase. Like, she doesn't like- She likes Mai Tais. She doesn't want to get drunk for the for the sake of just getting taking a shot yeah, of anything. Yeah, right. Um, she loves Mike's Hard Lemonade. Yeah, and they're they I come in a variety would, I of flavors. I would like those because well, they're I like love wine lemonade. coolers. They're like wine yeah, coolers. Except they, they're carbonated, right? Yes, and they come in like cherry and watermelon I and do lemon. Like, um, what's the one? The apple one. Um, oh, there's an apple one. You know, they make hard cider. Oh, yeah. I think of what it's called. Angry Orchard. Yeah, Angry Orchard. Hard ciders are very good because they've gotten yes. they've really made a, a their their business their brand mm-hmm. um, in perfecting that. Yes, because there's a lot of people that make hard ciders. We should get but a sponsor. We should get ah. a hard cider sponsor. <laughs> Sign me up. We'll drink them every time. Are, are you, you kidding? kidding? Like, just having an angry orchard i don't need diet coke zero i'll have that oh did you hear about the tom hanks cocktail that he's been sharing with yeah, everyone champagne and diet coke i don't know if that feels immoral to you because you're a champagne connoisseur but i guess if i had like andre or something oh, or, uh, or, or corbell god <laughs> are you kidding me go ahead i love you maybe if i had like I'm corbell or something that. No. What, you'd want to use a well, fancy champagne? No. Okay, so listen, we don't have to like pour the Diet Coke into the bottle. You just pour a little, make one glass, like a mojito, didn't not put, a mojito. Didn't he put ice in it? Um, He did, but I watched, mm. I saw somebody else make it. I watched another celebrity this morning on TikTok drink it, and yeah. she was like, I hate you, Tom Hanks. This is delicious. <sighs> So mm. she was like, she couldn't believe it. She goes, this, she was saying the same thing. She's like, this, this feels can't, weird. This, this feels can't possibly be good. Yeah. She's like, this feels anti you know, Okay. You know, <laughs> she's like, I shouldn't do this. You know what? It's blasphemous. But you know what yes. I would do is, you know how you can buy those little six packs? Yeah. I would buy those and try it. So what I was going to say is, you know, we could, or we could open a bottle mm-hmm. and then we can make one little cocktail. Yeah. We don't, it doesn't have to be like a full no, glass no, no, of no. champagne like we usually no, do. No, I would do a sample. A sample, Make right? sure it's tasty. And then if we hate it, then we just drink the rest of the bottle like normal. Yeah. That sounds good. I mean. I would do that. Yeah. No, I'm down. Because do the that. only way I think I could tolerate it is if we were drinking an expensive champagne. I couldn't do it with shit. <laughs> I can't I drink any <laughs> liquor that's crap now. I agree. By I By the way. Can't. The fact that I every once in a while have a Bud Light Michelada, that's as low as I can go. You know what? Do you know who makes good Micheladas? <laughs> Modelo. Disneyland. Oh, really? <laughs> One time Daryl and I were really hungover. And back in the in the California Adventure, in the far back by Monsters Inc. ride, there is a Takiera stand. Takiera. And they do Micheladas. Because those are one of my favorite things on the planet. And they're great for hangovers. They are. Well, so, so are, um, what's the other one that's red, you know? Oh, Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. Yes. Thank you. Yes. It's almost, it's basically the same it's thing. The, yeah, it's just one's beer. beer and one's with vodka. Yeah. Right. So we got, we, I, I just was too hungry. I couldn't do it, but Daryl got one and, and all the, all these adult parents were like too much, a lot of please. Like everybody's yeah. getting them. And then we got some street tacos. And so Yum. we're just sitting here with our sunglasses on quietly eating because we didn't have kids with us. And so we were just sitting there together, <sighs> yes. just quietly eating. And I'm like, Oh, there's stitch. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to go on a ride not yet <laughs> yeah yeah you know like that's we the paid thing. so much to be here <laughs> that's the thing about getting drunk at places like that oh, do you hard. know how many vacations we have gone and we've been like at the most spectacular place on the planet You're like we are not getting in drunk. some bitchin suite and we are so fucking hungover that we can just sit there and we're like oh, oh no. stephanie looking at the ocean like well we should probably go out to the ocean but should we <laughs> I can't really walk. Can you open the door? <laughs> I go have get to one open of those, it. Go get one of those luggage carts and push me around. Because <laughs> that's all hey, I can do. Let's play uh, Bernie Weekend at Bernie's. <laughs> <laughs> right. No, one time Daryl and I went um, to Napa, you know, shocking. Yeah. We went to Napa and we stayed at one of the suites in Napa River Inn. And there's not very many. Right. Very and exclusive. so it was huge. It's huge ass suite. And it was like a freaking loft practically. We're like, oh, this is so great. So we go out to dinner. We got hammered. And there is nothing worse 
than a wine Gee. cocktail hangover. I can't do it. So we drank wine and had cocktails at a oh. bar. We just had way too much, and we're like, we never should have had those cocktails. Right, it's one or the other. It's always, and so, and we had had everything, and so. because well, you start with wine, because it's your Napa, right? And it's so delicious. Well, what, was, what had happened was, actually, was the opposite. We were sitting at Morimoto having a cocktail waiting for our reservation oh. at another restaurant, because they didn't have a bar. Yeah. And so we were just sitting there having a couple cocktails. And then we ran into somebody. He's like, what do you mean you don't like white white wine? Let me show you. And so then we yeah. started drinking white wine and then champagne. And then we're like, okay, well, we have to go to our dinner reservation. We'd already pushed it up once. We got to go. And then we ordered a whole bottle of wine <gasps> and drank. I don't even remember the meal. Oh. All I know is I remember... I do remember telling the waiter, the oh, server, no. I said, that. Stephanie, I'm, I'm I hate mortified having to flashbacks day. of my drunk talk. <laughs> I did it day. the other day to the freaking <laughs> Instacart lady. <laughs> to this day. I know she's looking at me like, yeah, no wonder you're having rum delivered. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. No. I just remember we had ordered um, mussels with chorizo. <laughs> mm with crusty bread and broth and it's Yum. so delicious and so of course when you're drunk everything's the best thing you've ever oh, right? eaten well your palate gets really um <laughs> numb or something no it does they no, say like they it. say you don't taste as good when you're when right, you're right. when you've been drinking <clears throat> so <laughs> you tend to overindulge okay because you want yeah yeah, yeah. so we were eating it and so goes how's everything i'm like could you <laughs> i can't even say it i'm oh, so God. embarrassed i'm like can you please bring the chef out <laughs> jimmy what the fuck did you think you were? I have a podcast. <laughs> have you heard of me? No. I go, could you please bring the chef out? I want to tell him how delicious this is. <laughs> did Daryl look at you at all? <laughs> yes. He's all. <laughs> He's like, you know what? The server's like, you know what? I will tell him that you really enjoyed it. I'm like, thank you so much. And so I must have said that a couple of times. Oh, no. Not just. <laughs> you didn't even realize your mistake. Like No later like oh, the next God. morning we woke up i mean did you Unforgi remember then unforgivably hung over oh, the next day you deserved that oh my god i said i can't move i literally was like, I'm like i can't move and i'm like I, I need to throw up and i didn't even throw up and that's even yeah, worse it is worse actually and so i said i really hope that javier in the back preparing our food <laughs> took it as a compliment because i know there's no chef we had no remoto no Oh, we were at another restaurant. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, well, but it's like most of the chefs, they're not even celebrity, chefs. even celebrity I mean, restaurants. Come mean. on, no. I mean, well, I mean, no, that's not true. At oh, the no. French Laundry, well, that's different. But yeah. I mean, most restaurants, you know, like most restaurants, it's Hispanic, and yeah. especially in Napa, actually, right? they take very good care of everyone in Napa. So it's a great place to work if you are uh, green carded or whatever, yeah, or work visa. So that's who's preparing the food. Gotcha. That's, that's why I always order huevos rancheros at yes. restaurants. Oh, it's, yes. It's so fucking good. Yes. I'm like, if they have anything Mexican on the restaurant, Get I order it. Absolutely. We went to one place and it was all like very Denny's-like. Yeah, American. And then somewhere yeah. on the side it said huevos rancheros. I'm like, oh, Get I'll that. have that. And I got it. I'm like, this is amazing. And it's the best thing ever. And then I saw some guy come in. He's like, you like it? And I'm like, delicioso. Yeah. <laughs> yes, right? It was delicious. That is also really good hungover food. Oh, God. I Mexican made that the other day. Is so excellent for I made hangover. it the other day. It was so good. Um, okay, really quick, some celeb tea. Okay, so remember when Britney was filmed at the restaurant? Everybody said she was speaking yeah, gibberish. Yeah. She wasn't. No, I saw, so I, did the you see the waiter? The, the waiter got to Sam Ashigari coming out of somewhere mm -hmm. normal. Yes. And he actually talked to them for a couple of minutes. Yes. And he, he was like, look, you know, he basically said, look, none of what you saw is what happened. <laughs> no. She was annoyed. Yes. Because we came And that woman was eat. banned, by the way. They banned that one oh, for life good. for videoing her. So here's here's what I it got. It would be annoying though, right? It was horrifying. Yeah. And they were already done with their food. Okay, so this is what it said. It says, we spoke to the waiter from Joey, which is the restaurant they were at, yeah. who served Brittany and Sam on Friday night. And here's what he had to say. Oh God, it's so tiny. I'm not gonna be able to read it. God damn it. <laughs> you should have made it, it bigger. For yourself. I did. Why did I do that? Hold on. I just need yeah. light. I'm so fucking blind. I have uh, to go too. to the eye doctor. It's I like an not appointment even funny. on Tuesday. Oh my God. The waiter says Brittany did not have a manic episode as is being reported or any other kind of episode. She was frustrated over a Patreon, a patron who began <laughs> randomly filming her and used a menu to shield herself. He said Brittany was the sweetest person despite the uncomfortable situation she was put in by this other person filming her and was apologetic even though he says she had nothing to be sorry for. 
Sam did not storm off. He went to the bathroom. The waiter offered to move them to a more private location, but they were already finished with their meal. The restaurant further accommodated them by allowing them to leave so as not to be fil- uh, filmed anymore and having them send in their bodyguard to take care of the bill. Yeah. The patron was asked to stop filming and was asked to leave and was al- never uh, is not allowed back in the restaurant ever again. Sam said that he got up and left and he went and got the car. Yes. And pulled it up so that Brittany could get in and without. And then they sent the bodyguard in. And he today. probably did storm off. He was probably furious. He was furious, but he wasn't furious but not at her. her. Yeah. I, you know what? I'm starting. I'm wondering if Brittany was never mentally ill and that she was drugged. I've heard that lithium can do a number on the oh, brain yeah. if you don't need it. For sure. And I'm just wondering if that's what happened to her. Um, I mean, I think she's, <clears throat> I personally think she has some mental illness. Oh, well, I I mean, yeah. I don't know how severe it is. I don't think it's nearly as bad as people I think she said she was bipolar. Me. She, I think yeah. she admitted that she was bipolar but how is she ever to trust any kind of therapist again i wouldn't like no yeah all i said when i read I to all- grow my own be <clears> like <throat> okay who's the smartest kid in high school right now oh, and he's Seriously. going to be my personal therapist right? in 10 years and i've said i've maintained this <clears throat> a million times that britney needs to be hooked up with taylor swift's people or yeah. j-lo's people somewhat a, a powerful woman who knows how to do it right yeah. when it comes to celebrity yep. she needs real security well she is she needs prince harry's security agreed she is like she can't stop acting like she can just go anywhere and no one's gonna bother her oh yeah she does she doesn't care because she doesn't care well she's so normal in that sense so she really yeah and you would think that with the level of celebrity that she is at this point she would get it but um she is very very good friends with the hiltons i mean and they are as powerful as they fucking get yeah um, but they are also, you know, and they're pretty good about their own PR actually. Yes, Cause yes. I know there's a lot of dirt in that family. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. so, but I don't know. I mean, I think that celebrities like that are just like to the point where like, well, like you look, she's not asking and I'm not going to tell her. I like, just, her I just think and- at this point, I, I, from what I've read or heard is that her complete, excisation from the conservatorship is not complete right. that there's a lot of money situation stuff there's talk about her agent and stuff like her old people I are would still not be being surprised sued. if her dad was suing her or like who he's knows? not but i mean he's tr- god they're so fucking grifty though i know jesus talk about grifters that guy's cr- and he's cracked yeah he's a horrible person like hardcore me. villain okay so the oscar doms haven't come out yet but brendan fraser did win for best actor i think a, a golden globe or i guess i have yeah golden globe something it came out of nowhere i was so not not golden yeah golden, it was the golden globes no 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 that's the one they just had and he won yes okay or critics choice also happened as well yeah anyway he won and Golden Globes because also the guy for El- Austin Butler won something. Elvis. And- he won best. No, no. See, that's the thing is I think he won the Golden Globe. Brendan Fraser won the Critics' Choice. It might have been Critics' Choice. You know what? Maybe I'm getting messed up. Uh, the only yeah. one that I don't like of all the award shows that I don't hate is the Golden Globes. Yeah. But I still didn't watch it. I didn't watch it either. It came out of nowhere. But yeah. And then the guy that played Jeffrey Dahmer um, for I'm, Netflix won something. I'm kind of against it. Why? I don't know. Because you didn't watch it. No, no. I just, because the victims are really unhappy. Oh, fuck the victims. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> I'm over that. Oh, really? Yes. The man, the, the man who murdered their children. Children, and that it's awful it's horrible i mean i'm not condoning um entertaining entertainment at the expense of <clears throat> someone's mm-hmm, loss mm-hmm. yeah but the truth of the matter is is that their children were murdered by someone who's going to go down as one of the most notorious serial killers ever there was going to be that is movies. going to be no matter what <laughs> there and was it, going to be podcasts absolutely yes. yeah and you're movies right. you're right. and shows yes. and people still are fascinated and by no that one, whole thing and even when it happened i mean there are novels and books written about notorious serial killers for absolutely and hundreds of and years if you watch the show right. um and i understand if i were them i wouldn't watch well, it no because it, it is my son or daughter sure, or whoever sure. you know that yes. and i don't want to see you don't that. need to see it i don't need to see it right. i know what happened you live through it um, but they were very respectful of the victims. And in fact, oh, it's the only thing that I have watched on Jeffrey Dahmer where it focused on knowing the victims, who they were, personalized them, made Good. them real, you know, yeah. not, not this, you know, they didn't glamorize Jeffrey Dahmer in any way. I kind of, I, I think one of the reasons why I chose not to watch it, not that I would never not go back is that, um, I think I was really, um, 
frightened by the whole i mean he what i was not his was target scary, it wasn't that but yeah, i just no. he was a scary individual and yeah. i think it just scared me well it's and scary i just scary what his what he was capable yeah. of doing and the yeah. fact that he blended in so easily yeah. in society that's yes, scary that is scary because what if his victim target was females it, it, and there have been well people like that yes, yeah absolutely so for me and you know what's funny is it had been out for a long time when i watched it like i was yeah. like i have no interest in watching anything else about jeffrey Dahmer. i've seen it yeah over and over and over yeah. they've they've done it i'm like i'm like I don't, there's nothing else that I can possibly know that I don't right. already know. Right. Right. But then I watched it and it was different than I thought mm, it would be. Fascinating. Uh-huh. And, and who, by the way, that actor who played him yes. was brilliant. Oh, good. Well, I know that he, I mean, he must have been. Brilliant. To be noti- to be note, uh, to be uh, recognized. He won. Yeah. He won. Is, is insane. <laughs> <laughs> he won. <laughs> he won it. <laughs> Anyways, uh. I was watching a video of a guy who he's a criminal psychologist and he said that if you are obsessed with uh, crime as far as how people get away with it or what you what you have to do to find the evidence, et cetera, he goes, you go one of two paths. You are continually obsessed with it because you want to learn more. He goes, most people who are quote unquote obsessed with crime are because they want to solve it and they continue learning how to catch people. Right. So... The reason I wanted to bring up Brendan Fraser, he's going to get his Oscar. I hope he wins. Yeah. Although he's, now he's going to go against Elvis Jr. So we right. don't know. And God, now that, that is one gorgeous man. Stephanie, he is so fucking gorgeous. I know. And who's his ex? They were just, I didn't realize he was. Oh, yeah. He was dating something, somebody really famous. Something famous. Something, <laughs> someone really yeah. famous. And she was, t- they were talking about yes, her. And but I they're was not like, together oh, anymore. No, so. no, no. I don't think he's with anyone right now. But I mean, if I were him, I would not be tied down. Here's what, here's what I'm wondering. Jeez. Is, is he going to get the Oscar? because Lisa, Lisa Marie, Marie Presley, Presley died. died. I, I don't know. I think he might have gotten it anyway, but he was... Did re- you like the movie? Elvis? Yeah. I did. It was long. It was very long. I loved everything about what he did. I, did I too. hated Tom Hanks. Well, I hated Tom Hanks' character. Well, I meant whatever. But yes. I, yes, I didn't yes, think the portrayal yes. was very good. Well, you know what it was? It wasn't even his portrayal that wasn't that good because I don't know much about the guy he was playing. Oh, the colonel? Yeah. Yeah. It was the whoever did his makeup. Yeah. And it just wasn't great. He kind of looked like a monster. It just looked fake. It didn't look you real. Could tell I didn't like it. Wasn't, it. You could yeah. tell it was Tom Hanks and you could tell it was makeup. Totally. I didn't like it. And it shouldn't be like that. Like, no. if you're, especially in this day and age. I will say this, and I don't think we talked about this, that movie Elvis. I was like, hey, I'll watch it. I've seen literally every Elvis movie. And I'm like, nobody does Elvis better than Kurt Russell. I don't care what anybody says. <laughs> but that's what, I was a child, <laughs> of course. I didn't it. know. But now I know. Right. <laughs> but anyway, um, so I watched it. And I remember when they cast him and I was like, Oh my God! Yes, this boy is going to be the perfect. See, Elvis. I didn't know who he was. I didn't, I didn't know anything either. about the movie. I literally stumbled upon it on like a Sunday where I was in oh. bed in my sweats oh. and had nothing to watch. I'm like, you know what? Let me just. It's so fucking good. And you and I are the same in the sense that I have to really get hooked on a movie yeah. rather quickly, immediately. Because if I don't, then I'm done. Mm-hmm. I just tune out or I turn. I change the channel. What I loved about it, first of all, this is the first movie that the Presley family was actually like, yes, this is and, accurate. And I think that's why I was curious about it because I like, heard her say that. I heard Priscilla Presley say so like, this is how it was and that's how it was and because they didn't overly glamour I mean they no. did rightfully so he did have a glamorous life yes and he was a fascinating and amazing person yes. but his yes. flaws were huge yes yes, yes. the above yeah so Christ, I liked yes. I liked that they didn't um gloss over that part no my my part that the, the thing that i liked first of all i thought i knew elvis i yeah. really didn't because we were little yeah. kids when he died we yeah. were babies i'm so sad about that same jerry walked out of an elvis concert when he was like 16 what a moron he went with his mom and his sisters Why? who were all like just goo goo gaga in love with him and he's like i don't want to go does he regret it he, now he does oh, okay but at the time he's like i was bored i didn't care oh there were gosh. so many girls he goes, yeah he said the screaming was piercing you know what fair and Actually, you're a guy right you're a fair. teenage boy and, and you're like who knew that Elvis was gonna die they no were all knew. yeah you know and they were he was like Ugh, you know all these girls just going crazy you know goes <sighs> in and I just couldn't I was over it so I left Done. I don't blame him I went and walked around Tahoe and they went to the concert great no the the part that I really enjoyed was the fact that Elvis was you know he never wrote his own songs he only True. sang songs from black 
uh, artists. Artists. And he did it because he wanted to profile them. Yeah. And he wanted them, people to know who they were. And yeah. he could vehicle it. And what I loved is that they wanted him to. They did. People forever people used to say. People have vilified him now over that. And yeah. I don't get it. People used to say, oh, no, he's stealing from the black community. I'm like, I don't get the impression that they were not happy about that. They like, knew, I think they wanted him to Yeah, they it. knew that their songs would never have otherwise been yeah. heard. And what better platform yes then the king of rock and roll the most famous man yeah. on the planet and is singing your song and honestly rock and roll was stolen from black culture totally everything oh my god so many things everything so many things so, but whatever. i think you know what the funny thing is yes. is that african americans or black people in general have mm-hmm. have got have found creative ways to make themselves be heard and seen even yes. if it's not right in our face back in the 50s they had no choice yes they weren't going to be on tv and 100%. you know be no yeah. So they're like, well, there's more than one way to skin a cat and Godspeed. You yeah. Know? And, and, and they loved him. Yeah. Which I also loved. Agree. Um, yeah. So Brendan Fraser will be nominated. And so when he won his award, the reason I'm bringing this up is that when he got on stage, this man is traumatized. I don't know if you saw his. Brendan? Accept- yes. I saw him bawling. I, I mean- don't know if you saw his acceptance speech. When he got up, he looked like he had been kept in a cage and they finally freed him. Well, I think he and he's, he was the typical Hollywood where he was an A list celeb. Well, he was blacklisted when he was young. Yes, right. He was mm-hmm. in all these movies. Um, Encino Man, right, right, right. Um, 90s. Yes, and then I, why, why he got blacklisted? I he don't know. He got blacklisted because um, a member of the Hollywood Foreign Press, the ones that do the Golden Globes, yeah. sexually assaulted him, and he oh. reported it. And they said we're not talking about it. Hollywood blacklisted him oh. and he never worked again. Right. And he became obsolete. And people every once will be like, hey, what's going on with Brendan Fraser? And they'd be like, we don't talk about, we don't talk about Brendan. Right. Like they didn't. And I was like, what the fuck? And then when it came out now, of course, it's a huge deal. They're like, oh, this is why he was blacklisted. So suddenly now he's getting job offers and, uh-huh. he, you know, now he's getting his Oscar and he got on stage. He's like, I can't believe this. Well, it's, it's like, so fucking like, surreal. Like, how, like, right? He like, gets a standing ovation from his peers. And I'm just like, mm-hmm. you know what, assholes? All of y'all. Where were all of you? Could have pulled him out of oblivion and you didn't. And I find it offensive. I do too. That you're putting him on the platform, making yourselves feel good. Uh-huh. You're going to give him his award and he's going to be out. He's going to be relevant again. Look at him. Right. He's, he's pale. He's traumatized. He's a little chubby. Yeah. I mean, well, he, he, looks, hasn't, he hasn't had to be one no, of them for 20 years. For a very long time. And, and I'm like, I, f- I can't believe that no one is feeling the way I'm feeling right now. I mean, I'm sure they are, but that's one thing that Hollywood is really, really good at. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? They are such hypocrites. Bravo! It's the reason like, why I can't watch. all of you. Yes, it's why I cannot watch <laughs> award shows anymore. I'm with you, man. I mean, I, wa- I, I, I will you. watch the fashion, but I almost have to watch it on mute. It's like, shut the fuck up. No one wants to hear you Don't talking. Don't speak. <laughs> the best host that the Oscars ever had was ricky gervais when he came out and he said all of you work for people who have sweatshops with children so take your fucking award stop pontificating because you have no right and yeah. thank your direct thank your thank your agent and get the fuck off the stage right right and i'm like thank Bravo. you god right you know and it's that's true. that's yeah the thing. so whenever so like that's one of the reasons why i just can't watch because you know basically all it is is all of them patting themselves I, on the back 100% about right. how fucking badass they are it reminds me of the scene in titanic where they're sitting at the table and, and rose goes to jack she goes now they're going to pat each other on the back and drink brandy and smoke cigars and talk about how they're masters of the universe he's like <laughs> gentlemen join me for a brandy <laughs> sorry i have to go row with the other slaves yeah yeah it's like it's true exactly and i remember this was a few years ago and i think it was pre-pandemic maybe i don't remember but i remember telling daryl and i said you know what i go we are looking at one of the fanciest work parties of mm-hmm. life right. i'm like no one cares anymore like truly yeah. i mean no pe- regular people don't care no they do well fine. And it doesn't need to be on tv anymore you That's guys just I'm do saying. your thing and give us the clips of who won the fashion give and us who the won. list and if you decide to wear something smart fantastic <laughs> but it's like who gives a shit anymore yeah i don't it, it, people who live near where they have the, the the awards party hate it look at robert de niro now because he used he was coming <laughs> out as this prolific you know this political you know because yeah. he hated trump i get it we, I, we all hated I think, trump i think they knew i think he knew him and that's why he was Probably. such an asshole to him but he came in like like they just hated each but other what got me is like he came out as though his opinion matters he more did than a anyone goddamn else psa stephanie it was I'm embarrassing like, yeah i'm like why do you think you're so fucking important that we should listen oh because 
Robert De Niro said it. Because so you were in we The Godfather? All, yes. I don't give a fuck. And by the way, you're not that great of an actor. I have Wait. watched you. Was he in The Godfather? No. Okay. My bad. Sorry. I'm pretty sure that was Al Pacino. No, I know Al Pacino was in it. He was in he the other been, one. You know, he's in every gangster no, movie. No, he was in the mafia. other one. Um, he's he in Goodfellas. Goodfellas. He's in Casino. He was, it was Goodfellas and Casino. He's in everything. Yeah. Yeah, 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 You know? In fact, the only one he was in in Godfather probably pisses him off more than probably. anything. Probably. I mean, he probably hates it. Because that actually had legitimate <laughs> Because that was the one that actually was good. <laughs> it was. <laughs> Goodfellas is good, though. I love oh, Jamie, that Ray was Liotta. one of my absolute favorite. I love that mm-hmm. movie. Mm-hmm. I can almost... <laughs> don't don't a, snort. A young, I won't. A young Ray Liotta would have convinced me to be a mob wife oh my god i mean a hundred percent i'd be like when he died i was legitimately bummed i mean it's just because you know we're getting to that i hate to say this i know we're getting to that point in our lives where all these amazing actors are dying because they're I old know. you know i mean it's I like uh, now i know what mom was like it's like you have no idea how cary grant was you'll what? never know oh, you know god. i'm not talking about mom that was I know bad what you're but you I know, know what you think like our parents yeah, yeah, yeah. and our grandparents would talk about these yeah. people who were so amazing and we're like my god that's that person is so old like, Oh, for example, David Crosby died a couple days ago. Right. Now, of course, Jerry was like, oh, my God, David Crosby died. I'm like, and he was 100. That's what I said. I go, cares? I go, didn't he get like a fucking liver transplant or something from someone? He was like 81. Because he was I'm an like, alcoholic. I, and then, right. And because he was David Crosby, he, he got. They actually gave him they one. They pushed him up to the line. So some 12-year-old had to die for this mm-hmm. fool to get it. And other people, they would be like, well, unless you stop drinking, we're not giving you one. You can just die. We don't care. Because we're not going to waste a perfectly good liver Except for David you. Crosby can. Except for David Crosby. And then his other claim to fame is he gave Melissa Etheridge sperm. Ew. So her two of her children are his. His biological And of children. course she immediately came out and she's like, I would just like to thank David Crosby for this gift. Ugh. And I'm like, okay. Gross. Fine. Whatever. I, I, I find, I noticed that he didn't give you sperm for the other two you had. Mm-hmm. Wonder why. Weird. The whole thing is weird. That whole thing is weird. It's the most strangest thing. Because that's- they think they're so fucking bitching that they can't even use anybody <laughs> else's sperm that's not a music god. You I know what want I mean? musical genes. I'm like, give me a fucking I break. want musical genes in my children. I mean, Along with the genetics for addiction. Thank you. They do, right? They well, do these things her son on- Her uh, Oh, I, I know. Her son died. <laughs> right. Um, They do these things on The Real Housewives where this this has been a newer thing that they've done in the last few seasons where they have, because they know everybody. Sure. They they don't, when they're on Real Housewives, or at least in the beginning, it was kind of like, let's just pretend like we're regular people that are really rich. So that way they can see how normal people who are really, really rich live that aren't celebrities per se. Okay. Well, now the show has migrated to where they're all all actors and actresses. They're all celebrities of some, yeah. And so that they ship don't, has sailed. We don't right? do that anymore. So we don't embrace that anymore. Now we just embrace the fact that these are celebrities and they yeah. know everyone. Sure. And so, and the circles they run in are all rather famous rich people. Yeah. So they now they do these things where like, so when Yolanda Hadid was married to David Foster, mm-hmm. she was a real housewife of Beverly Hills. Yes. And so naturally, once in a while, David Foster would have to make a cameo on, sure. her, on the show. Um, and so, and, and he is disgusting he is so fucking egotistical stephanie he just had a baby with that in catherine woman catherine mcphee kathleen catherine mcphee they have a small she child. worships him as though he's a god i'm like he is she your has husband a, she has a hardcore dad complex though so bad she was a daddy's girl forever i mean and he well, literally she was born rich too by the way i, I, I yes i so, remember yeah. her on american idol yeah i remember her her days on american idol when she was the sultry shapely she sexual. can sing she can sing. she's a really good singer she's very good so i'm not fine. i'm not no, 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 i get voice. it but i'm just saying like but so. her dad worshipped her Did and he die no 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 oh, but okay. he he paved the way for her well, like she'd been vo- voice coached by the best yes ever so, since birth so it is not at all surprising to me that, that she, she fell in love with a man who is powerful when it comes to her career and you know he's not ugly he's iconic in the music world he's, of course he's made he's i think he's written songs for every single diva on the planet and the movies that we love Everything. i mean literally and yes. so and honestly i love his music i do too like uh, the songs he writes yes. the things that yes love but it I, all. I would not be able to stand in the room with him because his ego would take up all the air but he is disgusting yes. in that manner Absolutely. so and i mean he's like not even shy about it and i thought so, you know and i thought hadid was egotistical those two. Oh my god well yeah she wasn't <laughs> even good enough for him he's like no. oh hell no <laughs> You're weird. And she's a little weird. She is weird. But so anyway, her and her Lyme disease. Um, her and her Lyme. Get you and your Lyme disease and get the hell out of here. Oh God, she was acting like she was dying. I mean, she had like a hospital room set up in her house. <laughs> 
was crazy. I'm like, you have Lyme disease. I mean, I don't know what that entails. I'm sure it's I mean, hard. It's, it's like an autoimmune disease. It is almost. autoimmune. Yes. But I, and so I know that not... some people can be very, very ill, but I, I was under she the impression. She was ill because her husband had his pecker and everything but her. <laughs> She was just trying and to get she couldn't attention. deal with it. Yeah. And she was going to publicly get divorced <sighs> again. You know what? That whole situation, I want nothing to do with. Yeah. Oh, so by the way, so they had David Foster came on and he, mm-hmm. for the whole, you know, they're having I a dinner party that. and he played the piano Didn't and everyone was like, offended? Oh. Yes. Because somebody was talking or said something out Kyle. loud or something. And he's he like, like how dare you oh, interrupt s- when the master is playing. I just wanted a fucking shrimp, dude. And then they... <laughs> And then they had Melissa Etheridge on last yeah. season. She oh. came and to a charity event. I think All it was right. Homeless Not Toothless. <gasps> homeless, like, toothless Not Homeless. Yes. yes. Thank you. <laughs> and she came and sang a song um, while I they like were filming. Her. And it was terrible. Oh, she was bad? Well, I mean, you oh. know, she didn't have the... She didn't have the stage and all the the band and oh, I know yeah, all the, yeah, the yeah. things they do to yes. make your voice sound perfect. Yes, as we she spoken. was literally just mm-hmm. had a guitar in herself. And guess what? So Not it great. was like a coffee house. No, it was in someone's someone's mansion. No, that's what I mean. It was like this very yeah, simple. Yeah, acoustic. yeah, it was just a very simple acoustic. I mean, she wasn't horrible. It wasn't like oh my god, she's hurting my ears. Does she have long but hair again? Was, yes. Thank God. Yeah. Well, because she had. But cancer. it was the way they were acting, and then they had another um, another charity event. Shocking, where they had uh, another Wilson Phillips. Not homeless. <sighs> they had Wilson Phillips. Okay, you know that girl's real churchy. Which one? The main singer, Wilson. Oh, Car- there's so there's Phillips. Yeah, Phillips. Well, I can't remember all their names. I don't know. She's married to a bald one. Okay, and they're hardcore churchy. The blonde chick. Yes. Yeah. She's the one that trended on TikTok where it's like, Holy Spirit, activate! Holy Spirit, activate! <laughs> activate! Because she was on Family Feud, and before she was going to answer her questions to win, she like, like she did that. And they're, and they're like, um, okay, well, it became a thing, oh, God. you know, and everybody started mimicking it. And she's right. like, I know I'm the Holy Spirit activate girl, but I'm also Wilson. I'm in part of Wilson Phillips, but I'm also a child of Jesus. Oh, and God. go to my, go to my YouTube page <laughs> and you'll see what I'm all about on our church and all this other crap. And I'm like, oh, M G. Somebody someday going to make you cry. Uh, uh. Then. Well, that I'll never, the scene and, uh. And it's really hilarious considering who her parents are that she's so churchy. <laughs> who are her parents? Well, they were part of the mamas and the papas. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. She was the, the her mom was the blonde, the yeah. pretty one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. All right. Well, let's do, well, we need to be done. Let's be done. Let's be done. All right. Uh, thank you for listening and we will see you next week. Bye. Bye.